up you guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do things a little bit different. I love watching compilations of exercises, maybe 30 different burpee variations or the best shoulder exercises, but what are you supposed to do with those exercises once the video is done? You're not going to go do all those variations. So today what I'm going to share with you is four of my favorite shoulder and back exercises with a kettlebell and then we are going to turn that into a five minute workout. If you want to make it into a longer workout, then you can do it for five minutes, rest for three minutes, repeat it, rest for three minutes, and then repeat it once more. We're in for a treat. So let me go ahead, chalk up my hands. We're going to go over the moves first and then we'll knock out the workout together. Oh, and if you like this idea, make sure that you like the video and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes because I put out a new video every single week. Don't miss out. And of course, hit the bell if you want to get notifications. These four exercises are mainly going to target areas like our traps, which is our upper back, our lats, which go actually our entire spine, but we consider them the big wings, our deltoids and our shoulders, our scapula, and our rhomboids. Here's the first move. We're going to do a bent over row. We're going to have the kettlebell between our hands, squat it down through the knees a little bit, pushing your hips back behind you. You're going to row up, down, up, down alternating, pulling those shoulder blades back and together while keeping your spine straight. Don't let your spine flex forward. Make sure that you're showing your chest up slightly. Second exercise is a rack. Now, a lot of people don't consider the rack targeting much of anything, but it is an awesome exercise for targeting your traps, your deltoids, even your pec muscles and your biceps. So when you do this, we're gonna hold the kettlebell in front of your shoulder. Do not let it go across your chest. I can put a lot of pressure on our breast tissue, but keep it in front. Focus on keeping your wrist straight, not letting it flop over. You wanna keep from your pinky knuckle all the way down to your elbow, one straight line. Keep your core nice and tight to avoid yourself from leaning over to the side. Make muscle, squeeze your butt, squeeze your abs, squeeze your legs. The next exercise, who is a shoulder burner. We're gonna go into a negative press. So we're gonna do a fast push press up to the top and then bring the weight down as slow as we can, increasing our time in our eccentric or our lengthening stage of the exercise. Up and then slowly bring it down. Increasing that time under tension. And up and down. Again, making sure that wrist stays straight, not to break it back. And then our final exercise is a high pull. It's a very underrated exercise. The high pull is going to focus on working your scapula. It's going to focus on working your traps and your lats and your triceps. So what we're going to do is push it back and punch it out forward. You want to lead with your elbow, bringing the kettlebell up towards your ear before you punch it back out. The trick is to make sure that you hold a tight grip. Otherwise, you're gonna find it goes floppy at the top. No bueno. <laughs> start in our start stop position. Hike, pull, one. Two, three, four. Now that I've shown you the exercises, what do you say we now put that into a little mini workout? All you need is a single kettlebell. We are going to start off with 10 alternating bent over rows. Then we're going to go into a 20 second rack hold on your weaker side. Always start with your weaker side when we're going to do an AMRAP. And then we're going to go into three negative presses per arm. Then we're going to do a rack on the other hand. And then we're going to finish it off with 10 alternating high pulls per side, and then we're gonna start over. We're gonna get through as many rounds as we can in five minutes. What are your guesses? What do you think is gonna be possible here? I don't know, we're gonna find out. Here we go. Kettlebell between the feet, push those hips back, stay nice and low. Two, go. One, two, three, four, five, you got too many times my time. Six. Seven. Eight. 
for two rounds to, or for three rounds total. So we're repeating it two more times. But I want to hear down in the comments what other kind of short workouts do you want to see featured next? Legs, butt, chest, thighs, tries, you name it, and you might see it here. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes and give this video a like down below in the comments. You can find out all the links to Fitman's Weekly as well as to find me over on social. I'm always on Instagram, you guys. That was a good fast little burner. <sighs> good job. <laughs>